Oh, praise the name of praise Jesus. God. Praise the name Thank of the you. Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Welcome to Outreach. It's such a pleasure and a privilege for me to come right into your home one more time to share this wonderful and glorious gospel of the kingdom of God. Today we are so blessed, amen, to have with us, amen, our dear friends and, and brother and sister Brock here today. I know it would be a tremendous blessing as you tune in to hear us today. Amen. We come in right into your home because we know, my friends, there are several needs to be met. And we know that Jesus Christ is able to meet those needs as he would allow us to speak the word of confidence to you today. The word of God tells us, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. I want you to believe that this morning. Amen. I want you to take God by his word. So while you are moving around, you are about not probably ready, getting ready to go to work or go to school or or go, go or do something, amen, today, this morning. But I want you to take a little time out, amen, because we want to take a little time out with you, to pray with you this morning, yes. because we know that prayer changes things, amen. amen. Bless the yes, name of the Lord. Yes, now, uh, we would, before we go into a prayer this morning, I want to pass a brother to introduce himself and his beautiful wife here this morning. Praise the Lord. Well, we thank God for this opportunity to come into your home and just share the Word of God with you. I'm Pastor Brock Wilson, pastor of Good Shepherd Church of Houston, Texas, and this is my lovely wife. Uh, this coming Wednesday uh, at, uh, at 3 o'clock, this coming Wednesday at 3 o'clock, we will be married, Pastor, 37 years. Wonderful. And so I thank God for all the years that I've had with this wonderful woman of God mm -hmm. and uh, what has caused us to be stable mm -hmm. is is just getting this word on the inside of us you know the Bible says to gird up the loins of your mind mm -hmm. you know we have to renew our our minds with the word of God you know I can't I can't watch all the soap operas and uh, Desperate Housewife and all these other things to tell me how I'm supposed to treat my wife and what I'm supposed to do because they're nuts. They don't know. But God gives us instruction That's right. on how to live a godly life and how to love your wife. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sister Brown. Well, good morning to you today. And, you know, I, I just love this, this scripture that whatever we do mm -hmm. in word or deed, mm -hmm. do it heartily as unto the Lord. He's the one that rewards us and if we never had a problem, we'd never know that God could solve it. That's right. God is there for us. And I just love, like this, that song that, that those clocks is, I like living this kind of life. We're bl living a blessed Bless life. life. Amen. Right. We're right. in it for keeps. Yes. We're not here today and gone tomorrow. That's right. Because we've committed our lives to serve Jesus Christ amen. all the days of our lives. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes the difference. Bless the Lord. Amen. That's mm -hmm. what makes the difference. Mm -hmm. Bless the name of the Lord. My friends, I'm so happy to be here today to come right into your homes. We want you to feel relaxed today because mm -hmm. we want to share the word of God with you. You know, the word of God tells us, amen, and I like this word, bless the name of the Lord, just as the rain and the snow would come down, amen, to the earth. Bless the Lord. It saturates the earth. And what it does, it sort of give, uh, uh, it bring forth blood. And after the blood, the blood will bring forth seed. And the seed now would bring food for the eater. That's right. Amen. And you know, this is how God described his word. He said, when his word go forth, it would not return to him void. Amen. But it will accomplish. You see, God is a God of accomplishments. Yes, that's right. You see, he that's wants right. to accomplish things. And we are doing this here today so that we can accomplish something. Amen. We can accomplish a good home. We can accomplish good husbands. Amen. God wants us, amen, to accomplish. He wants us to be, amen, on the winning side. He wants the best for you 
and best for your family. He concerned about the families today. And this is my big concern. Mm -hmm. This is our big concern. Right. You see, right. the devil come to steal and to kill and to destroy. But thank God, Jesus Christ comes to give life and he comes to give it more abundantly. Yes. And today, my friends, we want to give you a little of how you can achieve this abundant life in your marriage, in your family life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because we know, my friends, it's not an easy task. We know it's a difficult task. This month happens to be, amen, my, my upcoming 65th birthday. And I, I dedicate my life and myself to God mm -hmm. so that I can do more for the glory of amen. God. Amen. Bless the Lord. And I thank God for keeping me because my wife and I, we've been married over 44 years now. And you know, it's a blessing. That is. It's a blessing. That is. But it wasn't an easy road. Amen. I want to let you know, as Sister Brock rightly says, it's not hunky-dory. Amen all the time. Amen. There is ups and downs. But thank God for Jesus. You see, because of the fear of God. You see, the fear of God is what? The, the beginning, beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of what? Knowledge. Amen. And as long as we can have fear for God and recognize the awesomeness of the God that we serve, mm -hmm. you would have fear for him. Mm -hmm. Because he said, if you fear me, I'm going to give you wisdom. If you fear me, I'm going to give you knowledge. And he's not talking about that doomsday fear, right. but he's talking about the reverence oh, fear. A fear that is in awe, yes. seeing the greatness of God, the creativity of God. You look all around you, my friends, and see what is happening. It is because of the blessings of God. So today, my friends, we want to go in and just share a few thoughts with you from the Word of God this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. And one of the scriptures that really come to my mind here is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Amen. And we look at verse uh, 2 to 4. Bless the name of the Lord. The word of God said, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. And let every woman have her own husband. Yes. This is important. Because God knows what is happening today. Listen, the word of God said, if your eye is evil, your whole body becomes evil. And not only that, he began to talk to the scribes and the Pharisees and his disciples. And he said, listen, you don't even have to, to touch a woman. That's right. But just, just think the way you think it, mm -hmm. you committed sin. Mm -hmm. So he said, listen, nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. This is important for us today. He went on to say, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife had not power over her own body but the husband, and likewise also the husband, had not power over his own body, but the wife. We want to take a little time out today and share with you for the next couple of minutes, amen, what this scripture really meant. You know, one of the things I want to take note of today is benevolence. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. What we are speaking about there, we need to be kind to one another. We need to be loving to one another. We need to have this sort of, uh, you know, we, we need to give to one another. Not only gifts on, on, mm -hmm. on, on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, mm -hmm. not only yeah. gifts during Christmas time, yeah. amen. Yeah. But we want to give ourselves, amen, to one another. Recognizing that God had made us one. Amen. And because he had made us one, amen, there is supposed to be a real good unity among ourselves. We need to respect one another. Right. Today we notice that men and women, they just don't have respect right. for one another. Mm -hmm. And my friends, as simple as this may be this morning, we need to have respect for one another. We need to respect and recognize one another for who they really are. Amen. Husband, 
need to recognize his wife for who she is. Wife have to recognize and